This is part of a mini series where we go over yield nodes. We're going to talk about what the project is. We're going to talk about whether or not it's legit and how to start with it. And you'll notice that this tutorial is fairly short and that's because luckily for us, yield nodes is fairly easy to set up compared to a lot of the other crypto node projects. And the gains are pretty crazy for the amount of effort you put in. If you want a full review of the company, how they make money, how safe they are, you can click the card right here to watch that. If you don't know what those are, you can think of them as servers that run a lot of the blockchains out there. Now these nodes or servers are very complicated and you get paid in crypto to set them up and to run them. So yield nodes takes your money, they go set up nodes with your money, and then they pay 85% of what those nodes make. And since these nodes are very, very complicated to get in and out of, I think it's very, very worth it. Uh, they've got a very good history. And in fact, they've paid out an average of 10% a month. Yes, that's a month since 2019. So let's talk about how we can get set up getting these gains with yield nodes. But I do want to start by saying that as with everything in crypto, there is a risk. Do not go put your life savings in here. Don't go put your IRA in there. This is something you do with disposable income. So let's dive in and talk through setting up yield notes. And as always, if there's a step you already know or already have done, you can always hover over the screen and skip ahead to a spot that gets you where you need to be. Step one, we will leave a link down below. Yes, it's an affiliate link to yield notes. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up the account and you're gonna end up on a screen that looks like this, yet obviously you're gonna have different balances. Now let's talk about what each of these mean. Right here is called master noted, meaning this is the funds that you've put into yield nodes and they're actively already in nodes and are currently making you money. This is money that perhaps you've made that you can withdraw or money that you just have sitting in your account. And then this right here obviously is your total ROI. Now when we first get started, the first thing we wanna do is go and deposit funds into yield nodes. Now there's only two ways to go about that. They let you deposit Bitcoin or they let you deposit Tether on the Tron network. We're gonna do this with Bitcoin because that's a lot simpler for most people. So we're just gonna send Bitcoin to yield nodes. And the way we do that is we're gonna leave another link down below. If you don't have a Coinbase account, you can do this with Coinbase or KuCoin or anything else that you have that has access to Bitcoin. Uh, but the easiest way for, for anybody that's new to this is just to use Coinbase. You're gonna go click that link down below, set up a Coinbase account, and you're gonna find yourself eventually looking at a page that looks like this. Again, obviously you will have a different portfolio balance. Next, you're gonna to go to your account right here and you're gonna click it and you're gonna see right here in the settings and then you're gonna see an option for payment methods. You're gonna go there and you're gonna be able to add any payment method that you want, whether it's PayPal, credit cards, or a bank account. Once it's been added, and by the way, this might take a few days for them to verify and approve it. From my experience, the best way to start is PayPal because you can typically withdraw the money that comes in through PayPal a lot faster than you can through a bank account or a credit card. Next, you're gonna to go to this trade option right here. You're gonna look down here and you're gonna see all these different coins. We want to buy Bitcoin. And so we're gonna click buy and you can select however much you'd like. We're gonna do a hundred bucks for the point of this tutorial. And you can see right there that it has PayPal as the option for me. And I'm gonna click preview buy. And in about 10 seconds, we're gonna get some Bitcoin. Now that we've purchased some Bitcoin in Coinbase, we can send it over to yield nodes. And from there, we can start making these gains that we talked about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our assets right here in the top left. And we're gonna go down again until we find Bitcoin. And for you, it will probably be the first one. And we're gonna click send, okay? We need to send Bitcoin to our yield nodes address. Now in our yield nodes account, we're gonna click deposit. Okay, we're trying to bring money into yield nodes. We're gonna deposit it in there. And when you scroll down, you're gonna see right here, make sure Bitcoin is selected. Be very careful with that. And then you're gonna click show generate Bitcoin address. We'll blur mine out so that we don't know what the address is. But all you've gotta do is copy this address right here while making sure it is a Bitcoin address, okay? You're gonna copy that address. Then you're going to go back here into your Coinbase account and you're gonna go up here and click send or receive. Now it says, okay, we're gonna make sure that Bitcoin is selected. Let's say we wanna send a hundred bucks worth, okay? And then it's gonna ask for an address and you're gonna paste the address that you just received from yield notes. You're gonna paste that address in there and then you're gonna click continue. We're actually not gonna send these funds right now, but what's gonna happen is it typically takes about 30 minutes on the Bitcoin network for this to pay out. Once it pays out, you're gonna be able to scroll down here once again on this deposit page and you'll see that it'll show up. And it'll show up at here with a different status than any of the ones you see right here. It will show as unconfirmed or something like that. 
And what's gonna happen is in about 24 hours, sometime in the next 24 hours, it's going to get approved. And you'll get a notification or an email saying, it's been approved, we've got a deposit for you. And then it's gonna change in here to idle. So you can see right here, all these deposits I've done in the last few days are set to be idle. Now the reason for that is Yield Node says they need seven days to go out there and put your money actively into node projects. And so for seven days, they're gonna go out there and do that and your money's just gonna be idling. Once that seven days is up, you're gonna see it move into master noted. So you'll see a balance in pending and then you'll see a balance in master noted. And now you know your money is making money. Now let's talk a little bit about how this all works because people always have questions and get confused about different things. The first thing you need to know is that initial deposit, as you can see right here, has a six month release date. So you're kind of guaranteeing them that money to put into nodes for six months. Now after six months, you can withdraw that initial money and during that six months, you can withdraw all the money that are, is being made with your funds, but you can't withdraw your initial funds for the first six months. One caveat to that is they do have an emergency withdrawal option on their site where you can do an emergency withdrawal and there is a 25% fee for that. And I believe the reason for that is they need to go remove it from all these projects they just invested in and they lose money in the process of doing that, to my understanding. Now, honestly, that's a feature to me because any other node project out there doesn't have an option like this. You put in your money, they lock it away. That's, you know, that is what it is. I love actually that these guys have an emergency withdrawal feature in case there is a problem and you need to pull your funds out. Now let's talk about getting your money out. So what happens is at the beginning of each month is when they will do the payouts. And you'll see on your dashboard, money will show up in your withdrawable amount. And now you've got a choice to make of either withdrawing or you can compound that money. Now, I would highly recommend compounding that money. If you look at the numbers, over the last few years, people that are, have compounded have made an average of something over 200% every year by doing that, but to each his own. Typically, the way I work it is I try to pull out my initial investment as soon as I've doubled it, and then after that, I just start compounding everything into the project. So the way you would go about doing that is once again, in your deposit section, you can scroll down and you can see on the right, if you have money that's withdrawable, you can take that money, choose how much you want to put back into your master noted balance, and they will go ahead and do that for you. You can also go to your withdrawal section right here, and once you've filled out all the information, which I have yet to do, you can go all the way down, and on the far right, there's an option to auto compound, which means take everything that I make, put it right back into the project, I'm just here to auto compound. Now again, whatever your worries are about this project, I would go and watch the review if you're a little stressed about this project, and I'll talk you through what the risks are associated with it and what my thoughts are on the actual project. But if you're looking to take out money, all you've got to do is click withdraw and you'll see right here, you just need to once again put in a Bitcoin address. So we do the same thing in Coinbase. Uh, we'd go up here, we'd click send slash receive and over here we'd click receive, okay? Click understand and it will give us a Bitcoin address. So we'll do the same thing in reverse. We'll take the Bitcoin address. We'll go over here to yield nodes. We'll add it to our withdrawal addresses right here and then we'll be able to click withdraw and withdraw those funds. Now, yield node says right here, and this is important to note, that the best interval, and probably the only one that actually works to send withdrawal requests is the first to the 15th. So they only do withdrawals once a month. Okay, the business model they have requires that they kind of have an idea of how much money they're gonna be having each month. So you have to make a request on the first to the 15th of each month, and then the next month is when that will get paid out and it will show up in your balance in, inside of Coinbase or wherever, whatever wallet you're putting that money. Now, something to note, they don't allow withdrawals unless you've done a KYC. You can see right here, it's not letting me withdraw until I fill out KYC. That's fine for me. I, I haven't gotten about doing it yet because I haven't done any withdrawals yet. Um, but the KYC wants identity, proof of address, and a signed agreement saying you understand exactly what you're getting into. But as you can see, the project is fairly simple. All you need to do is move in Bitcoin and then you need to wait while it goes into your master noted balance and you can withdraw from there. So they do all the heavy lifting for these master nodes, which can be very, very complicated to set up. They also do all the research and, and hopefully find the ones that have the best gains. So far, they've done a phenomenal job of doing that all the way since 2019, uh, which is why I've chosen to put in quite a bit of money in the last few months into this project. But again, I would go and watch the Yield Nodes review that we'll leave in a link down below if you have some holdups and want to learn a little bit more about the project. And last, you're getting into crypto. There's a lot of scams out there. There's a lot of hype out there. If you want a channel that doesn't hype up projects and just tells you the real deal of each one of the projects that I get into, go ahead and click subscribe. That's exactly what this channel is. Thanks so much for watching.